If you're having problems with your vision due to keratoconus, we've got help. First, you should try contact lenses, but if a hard contact lens is not something you can deal with, care surgery is something that I think you'll find very useful. What I'd like to talk about first is the difference between care surgery, the way it should be performed, and a more common surgery, LASIK surgery. LASIK is great if you're trying to change the shape of a normal cornea. It's not so good for a cornea that's weakened by keratoconus. So if you'll bear with me just a moment, I want to talk a little bit about the anatomy of the cornea and how CARES is done and how it can help you. This shows the corneal midsection or stroma, which is made up of wires that are transparent and made of collagen. These collagen fibrils extend clear across the cornea and it forms a meshwork. If you can imagine just layers of wire, clear wires. So what we're trying to do in keratoconus is give this uh, structure a more normal shape and, a great, and greater strength. So those are the two factors, trying to give it a more normal shape and greater strength so it doesn't tend to deform anymore. So the way to take advantage of this anatomy is to take advantage of these layers of wires and to add a layer where there already is a layer. A laser would cut through the layer. So if you can imagine a steel meshwork and you've cut through it in a random fashion, you're going to weaken that structure, which is why LASIK does not help keratoconus. What we want to do is strengthen and reshape the cornea. Now this is care surgery on a left eye of someone uh, and I'm sitting to this patient's left and I made a one and a half millimeter incision on the uh, lateral aspect of their cornea. The surgery takes, uh, this surgery took about eight minutes. Uh, it's edited down to about half of that and uh, I'm applying a little suction ring here to hold the eye. This is done with topical anesthesia in our office. It's not at all painful. Um, but what we do is we uh, find a channel between these uh, layers in the cornea and we've done that just now and what we want to do is thread an instrument to separate this layer so that we can reinforce it. So we've just created a little pocket where the uh, collagen lamellae uh, change direction and we're going to uh, extend that pocket uh, in a fashion that will improve this patient's vision. So there's just a little um, device here that uh, bluntly opens that channel up and this can be done in corneas that are very, very thin without fear of uh, perforating or harming them because when we get in these collagen lamellae uh, between these layers in the cornea is what I should be saying, when we get in this uh, layered uh, cornea, we can just stay in the same layer. I am going to make one more little one and a half millimeter incision here to facilitate moving our uh, corneal uh, cares transplant into this channel. And uh, these very small incisions don't weaken the cornea. They don't have to be stitched. Uh, they're not uncomfortable. So here's our uh, blue stained implant or transplant. And we're just going to thread it into this channel that we've just created. And the blue dye will disappear. The cornea will become transparent. It'll be almost completely indistinguishable as time goes on, it'll be almost impossible to tell that this patient's had surgery. The only difference that we'll be telling is the shape of the cornea. We're going to look at that in just a moment, but I would like to go on and uh, show how this is so easy to place into the cornea and uh, how it just naturally wants to stay in place without any stitches, without being um, uh, lasered or uh, burned or uh, 
in any way um, compromised. Because this normal strength corneal tissue is just threaded into this area where the patient's cornea is very weak and uh, protruding. And this will tend to flatten that protruding area. And improve the vision quite dramatically. So this really concludes the surgery. Now this is our patient's uh, eye and this is the left eye and you can see to the left side, uh, which is on your right as you look at the picture, but to the left side of this patient's left eye, um, the colors are hotter, showing that this cornea is steep and that the uh, surface is irregular. So it's not shaped like a sphere. It's shaped in a way that a, uh, a soft contact lens or glasses cannot correct the vision. So that's before the surgery. So this is the patient after surgery. And so what we see is that there are still multiple colors. So this cornea is still not shaped like a basketball but it's kind of shaped now like the side of a football. It's curved in such a way that we would grab the football or grab this eye by uh, kind of reaching where the uh, hot colors are. And this is an eye that has significantly less astigmatism. And the astigmatism is now much more regular, which means this eye can be corrected with a soft contact lens or with glasses. And so the hard contact lens is no longer needed to give good vision to this eye. And then I have one more picture that I want to show you, and this is the difference. So the difference shows uh, that where the care segment was placed, you see this deep blue color, and that's because that area has gotten flatter. So the area that was too steep got flatter. And if you look back at the original picture up to your left, you see that blue on the left side, uh, that area actually now has gotten steeper. So in our patient's ultimate uh, uh, outcome, uh, we see that the cornea has a more regular shape and that the areas that were too steep got flatter and the areas that were too flat got steeper and the cornea is much more regular now. So this is a 10-minute uh, surgery. Uh, it's a surgery that is very safe. It's a surgery that is done in the office. It's a surgery that uh, we uh, like very much. Um, it's uh, a major breakthrough in the treatment of keratoconus.